Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan and I'm building a straight tailed Sonics. Also, if you haven't yet, make sure to follow me on Instagram where I post different pictures of the build process as I go. So we're gonna go work on the wing box today, but first as always, we're gonna go check on the chickens. Good morning, ladies. The wing box is dual purpose. It allows you to attach the wings to the fuselage, but it also acts as a seat for the pilot as well too. This is the wing box right here. I'm going to need to take this entire piece apart and go ahead and drill it up and get it going. I'm also gonna go ahead and um, final attach these pieces down here because that uh, doesn't look like it's gonna be changing very much so I might as well go ahead and put them on in. Also this aft spar right here is where the back of the seat will attach via a um, little um, piano hinge, and so I'm going to make sure that that's ready to go as well. Shop's a bit of a mess, but that's okay. Just took it all apart, and now I have the floor up on the table here. So I can go ahead and start drilling it up. Um, these pieces are not going to move, so I can go ahead and drill these up and get them ready on in. And then I really want to finish this wing box here, and this rear wing box, which also requires a uh, secondary piece that goes up and over to hold the uh, the seat pieces. So since it's so well uh, drilled, I don't feel bad making this um, permanent, not necessarily permanently, but uh, much more um, further along and then can go from there. A little bit of an update. I've been working on the wing box for a while and I now have it uh, drilled up to the right size. And I've already, and I've already dimple dyed and countersunk these pieces. And now I'm going to start working on this upper part where the uh, stress of the seat will go. I've been working on countersinking this piece of aluminum here. It's uh, pretty thick, it's a pretty good uh, size piece, and it has a lot of material you can bring away. But a lot of people ask me how I've been doing that. And there's a specialized bit, this is called a countersinking bit, and it has, if you can see that right there. this little device that goes in and grinds away the aluminum at the 120 degree angle, which is what we need for this. Now it's also interesting, it has a little collar that goes up and down, if you can see that. And that collar is adjustable infinitely with this uh, little twisting motion of the threads, and you can have it uh, stop at a specific depth. So you can go and set this and have it go to the exact same depth each time for countersinking uh, the aluminum. So that's what I'm doing right now. You measure and you keep testing and then you get to a certain point and you can um, hit the exact same depth every single time and this collar will not allow it to drill any further in. So that's how I've been using the um, this picker tool to get the countersinking done on the actual metal itself. And the dimple die is designed, it goes right into that little uh, pocket and they uh, go really well together. So I'm gonna keep on working on this for a while. Another bit of an update, I went ahead and flipped the the floor over with the um, components in it, and now I'm drilling from the bottom up, trying to drill it level. Again, there's not much that I can go back or forth wise on it for wiggling it, so just doing it straight up and down, and then once those uh, core pieces are in, uh, then when I put it on the airplane later, it should be pretty level. So I'll keep going on this for a little while. So I've been working on it for about five hours today. I'm gonna go ahead and call it quits and go inside, but I'll show you what I've finished so far. I have the bottom completely drilled in, and I flipped it over, and now I'm trying to drill these side holes and such while it's level. And then I'll uh, dimple dye them all and get them ready so I can um, put them all the way in when they're ready. And they're looking pretty good. I'm quite happy with how it's going so far. Um, the uh, shop's getting to be quite a bit of a mess, but uh, it's just part of the game right now. I don't know if I'm gonna clean it up tomorrow to start the day or once I finish this part over here. But it's looking pretty good. I'll go ahead and pop the tail back up on the sawhorses as well tomorrow with the sides on so when this is done ready to uh, pop onto the airplane i can push it up and under with these extra sawhorses and then uh, jimmy it into place and go ahead and start drilling it in uh, I, I do have some other things i have to do to make sure that it's straight first but um maybe getting ahead of myself a little bit but i'm quite happy with how it's going so i'm going to keep crunching on it and uh, continue on this tomorrow 
We are back on day two. I'm already a little sweaty from working on the airplane for the last hour and a half. I'll show you what I'm doing right now. I am putting these side pieces in right here. I'm doing that with my 90 degree drill. This is it right here. It's a pretty clever system. I've had several people email me and ask me where I got it. The problem is I got it from my dad and I have no idea where he got it from. But it's really, really neat. You can stick as small of a bit in there or as large as you want. When you pull the trigger, it goes through a gearbox and turns over here. So I can use it to drill these pieces in from the side. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate so you can see how it works. So I'm gonna be doing this hole down here underneath these two pieces. You take your drill. Actually, I'm gonna get a different bit for this. I'm getting a smaller bit so it's easier to fit in. So I use a quick connect chuck, which these are really handy for all your different bits. Now you take it and stick it under where it needs to go. Have one hand on the drill so you can press the power button and one hand here just holding it and put a little bit of pressure on and... All right, works just great. So that's how the 90 degree drill works. Works really, really well. I'm gonna keep working on the floor here and get it to the point where I can uh, maybe rivet a few of the pieces in so it's pretty strong. And then when I put the fuselage sides on, I can pop the floor up and then be able to kind of clamp it in place and go ahead and start drilling it up. Hey everyone, I just finished my lunch up and I'm getting ready to go back to the shop. First, I'm gonna go ahead and order my roll and pitch servos for the airplane. I am on Dynon's website right here. I'm gonna be using this Dynon Skyview system. I have the servo mounting kit for the Sonics YX for the pitch and for the roll. They're $75 a piece. These come with all the components necessary to install them into the bottom of the airplane so that way I can have them uh, in ready to go and then put the more expensive servos in later on to be $150 total so I'll go ahead and check out and keep that going. Back in the shop now I just ordered my parts from Dynon. The other thing I got while I was at my lunch break was a six foot aluminum square tube it is three quarter by three quarter by six feet long. I need this to make the reinforcement for this part right here and also for the vertical on the firewall. I got my kit so long ago, I can't remember if it came with this piece or not, and I'm not sure if it got separated or it just didn't come with it at all. And so I went ahead and just went and bought a new piece just because um, I uh, couldn't find the old one. So uh, I went and bought that from, uh, as they call it, uh, Lowe's Home Improvement and Aerospace. But uh, so now we'll go ahead and use this piece to reinforce the floor and keep moving forward. Like all things with this plane, it's taking way longer than I thought. However, it is still very satiating when you get to finish a piece. This is the back of where the um, seatbelt holder will meet with the uh, back spar, is my understanding. And it's been going really, really well. I'm really enjoying it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, keep working on this piece, and I may call it a day pretty soon, but I'm uh, making good progress on the airplane so far. The thing is covered with shards of aluminum from working on it. I need to take these parts off next uh, and go ahead and, and uh, deburr them and get them ready, and I'm gonna go ahead and dimple dye the skin here and some other bits as well too. Uh, I am burning out a little bit today because that's, um, I think I'm on hour five right now, so it's a lot of tedious little work. It's also really, really fun. So I'm going to keep working on it. But uh, we'll go ahead and call it there for the video today. So please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my YouTube channel when you do that. And I'll be here to keep making more fun videos for the future. But thanks so much for watching.